Good morning, everyone. It has been a couple of days since Will left, during which I have been mostly editing the rest of that trip's videos. But I am out today, and it is very, very nice. It's supposed to get up into the low 70s today and be partly cloudy, so it should be fantastic weather to hike around a little bit. And while we did get a diamond back with Will under 10, I would really like to see one in Habitat, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, walking around in this nice upland stuff, hoping to see one. And of course, there's a ton of really cool bycatch that we could potentially find in this area, and all of that would be awesome too, so I'm going to get to it, and we'll see what we can turn up. Oh my god. That is a huge diamond back in this hole. I'm going to see if I can get him out. Well, my strategy did not work. <laughs> he uh, turned around and went straight down the hole, but now that I know where this snake is hanging out, I'm hopeful that I can get him eventually. Maybe not today, but one day we'll be able to find him. But <laughs> what a rush to just see that. This is the place that I've been searching for a diamondback all winter, and finally it happens. And yeah, it definitely sucks to not get a better look at him than that, but I mean, hey. I got my lifer in habitat here in 2014, I think, and have not seen another one in habitat since. So that is fantastic. Definitely a bummer it got away. We have the whole rest of the day ahead of us though, and it's possible this snake will come back out. We'll see. Here's a green and old coming out for the day. That's a good sign. Hopefully that will mean more reptiles will be coming out to bask. Well, that's the, the only thing we've seen other than the diamondback so far. Well, it's one o'clock and I have not seen anything since the diamondback other than a couple of lizards. And admittedly, at this point, I'm pretty frustrated because we got the diamondback pretty fast out of the car and it's been pretty nothingness since. If anything, it feels like it might even be a little bit too hot out here right now. But nevertheless, snakes never come very easy here, so I'm going to be persistent and hope that things turn around. Well, look at that. It's a very well-hidden corn snake. I'm gonna try to get a quick in C2 photo. Well, that's nice. We got a snake in hand today, even if the diamondback escaped, so I'm okay with that. The corns have definitely been one of our lifesavers this winter. I mean, we've been seeing quite a few of them out in this area, and they've all been juveniles too. This is the biggest one of the year so far, but super healthy. Definitely looks like he made it through winter without even really losing any body weight. If anything, I'd say he's a little bit on the thick side even for a corn snake of this length. But as the general trend in this area has been, he is quite dark. I'm definitely happy to see that guy. It's about two o'clock now, so I'd say we've probably got two more hours of good light. I'm probably gonna spend that flipping tin for the most part and walking back to the area where we saw the diamond back in hopes that he came back out. So I'm gonna photograph this corn snake real quick and then we'll let him go. All right, little guy. He's very cooperative for photos. Look at his belly. It looks like this guy's probably actually starting to go into a shed cycle. All right, dude. Here's your stump. Well, not even 60 seconds after finding the last corn, I walked over to this dead tree, peeked behind there, and another one. This one's smaller last year's baby but once again super healthy it looks like he's even got maybe a meal in him already these corns are just absolutely thriving out here <laughs> thought about biting me this one's a little prettier than the last one but still not quite as pretty as uh the other corns we've seen this year i don't think but still a very welcome find three snakes today in an area that we're usually lucky to see one Oh my God. Oh my God. That's number two. <gasps> it's huge and yellow. Look at that in C2. So there's a little bit of a story to be told here. I, uh, I was walking around flipping my tin and I saw what looked like I thought was more tin on satellite and I had it pinned and I was gonna come check it out today. And there's no tin here. I don't know what I was seeing, but it looked like there was something sitting here before, and there's not now. But I noticed that gopher tortoise burrow right there, and I also noticed there's another one over there that I haven't checked yet. But I was kind of walking over to check that one when I noticed big yellow looking back at me. The second diamond back of the day looks about the same size as the first, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, but this one's not going anywhere. His burrow's all the way over there and I am ready to grab him whenever he starts to crawl away. 
we're definitely gonna get a better look at this snake. I hate to bother him really, but I mean, it's just, it's something that I've wanted to see for a long time now, a diamondback in habitat at this particular spot. And it really blows my mind that after all of these years of looking in habitat since I got my life, or I haven't really found any until today. And now we have two, one of which got away, but still two diamondbacks in a day. Look at that beautiful beast. It's so yellow. It's so yellow. That's so crazy. He's just looking at me too. He flicks his tongue every now and then, but otherwise completely motionless since I spotted him. All right, big beautiful. You wanna come see the camera? I would really like to share just how awesome you are with my viewership. That is incredible. All right, let's see what kind of reaction we get from just moving that. Oh my God, it's huge. It's huge. Holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> so I just had an intuition moment and felt the need to look down. There's another one. That's number three. Well, that's the smallest of the day, but oh my goodness, I only wish I had realized that snake was sitting there before we started messing with that one, which is currently right there, scaring me. I mean, that snake is huge. This guy, very small, but so well camouflaged. All right, we're gonna leave that snake right there since it hasn't moved, it's a little bit skinny, and it's not nearly as big as the one that we have pulled out for pictures, which is sitting right over there. But I feel kind of bad about moving that snake now that I've seen the second one because this was would have been so cool to see both of these snakes sitting here because, I mean, that snake's right there. This girl, I'm assuming that's a big female, probably would have been visible from this angle had I come around because she was sitting in that right there. <laughs> the tiny rattle on this thing's kind of funny, but I that is just, it's so impressive. I can't even express how impressive the snake is. And I don't have anyone with me today, so I can't really put anyone or anything in there for scale without putting myself in danger. Um, I might get him to try to like crawl over my backpack or something, but just wow. And then of course, right over here, there's, there's number two. <laughs> I just can't believe this. After all these years of not finding any diamondbacks, I've been walking around this spot for at least two years now, like right here where we're at today. I'm not positive I've ever checked this exact burrow before, but that is just unreal. I really don't know what I can, what I can say about this snake that I haven't said already. It's just so impressive and intimidating. It's, it's big enough that it's sketchy to hook with my with my, I don't know how big this hook is, but you can see how big it is compared to my backpack. It's probably, probably four feet long, which means this snake is probably right around five foot. And I guess the little guy over here just tucked in being a good boy, he's probably about three and a half foot. But man, I, I wish I would have looked around a little bit more before I moved that snake because it would have been so cool to see these two together at the same time. I probably could have gotten them both in the same picture. But hindsight is 2020, I guess. We're gonna leave that one alone. I'm not gonna bother him anymore. Very happy to have seen him, of course, but I don't wanna disturb these two more than I already have because that's probably a little male, and I'm assuming this is a big girl. So I'm gonna take some quick photos and then I'm gonna let her go. But wow, that's just, doesn't get much better than that in terms of vipers. I'm a cane break boy, but uh, I do love me a good diamond back, especially one this size. Fantastic. So working with a snake of this uh, magnitude requires all of my attention. So I'm going to try to set my phone up in a way that I can record releasing this animal um, without putting myself in danger by not paying attention.
keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep backing up. Keep going. Keep going. Easy, easy, easy. There she goes. <laughs> the instant silence. All right. Well, at least we can say we left one of these undisturbed. He does not appear to care much at all about what's been going on <laughs> right next to him. So hopefully he doesn't mind. We'll leave him right there. That's a big dude of some kind. I'm guessing that's probably like someone's pet dog. Look at that little guy. There's a little, little grasshopper in the footprint. Look how small he is. All right, everybody. Well, it's about 4.30 at this point, and it's going to start getting dark soon. And frankly, I feel like I'm pushing it by being out here any longer because of just how ridiculous today has been. Five snakes, which is good numbers for out here, three of which were diamondbacks, and the other two were corns, which I always consider a good find. So, you know, it's just springtime now. Things are going to be awesome from here on out, hopefully. I'm sure we will have our little cold snaps, but at the end of the day, as soon as it warms back up, we should be having prime spring snake activity right around the corner. So yeah, I think I got enough for a full episode today, considering how generous this area was. So I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the Diamondbacks. Let me know if you did in the comments below. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.